Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hotak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 with the newest DLC in Rule Britannia. Welcome back to our Netherlands campaign. Now we're actually people saying, have you ended this uh, campaign, this series? And the answer is no, we're going to play this until the bitter end. Um, so I've been going through this and I spent a bunch of money to upgrade our workshops at home in the Netherlands. We'll see what else we build up in the world. I think we're doing okay in terms of manpower. We could probably invest a little bit more. We could theoretically move up in terms of admin power. I kind of don't want to pay the penalty of 65% more. Cause, but we do want the idea. And idea group that we're going to take is pretty clear. I think we're going to take diplomatic ideas to make sure that we keep our colonial subjects down and satisfied actually seeing this seeing this we should probably dedicate at least one to one of the subjects that doesn't have a great opinion of us do we have any of our subjects that are like less than happy new valonia is pretty mad yeah new valonia is not happy at all new friesland isn't happy and these southern south american guys have become a lot more powerful. Ooh, Portuguese Brazil didn't really lose a lot of territory in the war between these guys. France and French Canada. Really? Why on earth? Would, what? That must be a recent development. I thought the British were still at war with them. They're not. Interesting. Very interesting. So are these guys still... Hmm... We'll, we'll try to get a unified um, territory here. Try to take the last um, bits and uh, odds and end um, of Portuguese Brazil here to finish this and end the border goal. But yeah, that's, so let's improve with New Valonia here. They are the subject with the least um, high opinion of us. We still could make a bunch of states. Um, we'll see if we do that. After this, still got to be something that I have to consider very carefully. Um, yeah, we're fighting. We're fighting Ethiopia down here and we're kicking their butt. All is as it should be. Um, we're sieging down this place, so that's good. Uh, let's just continue. Ghetto is under our occupation. I mean, it's just kind of how it goes. Like, um, at some point, taking France is not out of the question. Definitely not out of the question because we could just bring all our troops home. Uh, that is actually a considerable amount by now, 361,000. The problem is it would leave us naked in all our colonial holdings. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of that, because then, yeah, until we can bring troops back into an area, that would take a while. We're also going to have a bunch of uh, rebels. We have a bunch of rebel factions. Mm, luckily, we're Republic, and we have some some ideas that actually do keep down rebellions like for example the optimism the reduction of war exhaustion is not to be underestimated we can basically be at war um indefinitely almost as long as we're not doing too badly uh we're not gonna have any war exhaustion our guys are just super happy with how things are mm, what did i want to look at i came back home um yeah i wanted to have a look at the french amount of troops i mean i'm actually considering not playing on very hard difficulty in future playthroughs because it's just a bit stupid, right? Like, we're trying super, super hard to build up our army, and then the AI gets just, yeah, plus 50%. Very hard. So they can field a, a way bigger army than I can, um, even though they're not they're not trying nearly as hard. Hmm. That is a bit annoying. I think what we're gonna do here is... Where is it? Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is build training fields and i think we just do it off the list so we we'll build one in kilwa we we'll build one in kandari just go down that route because i need i need troops i need manpower that's the thing that i'm most in need of okay we're pretty much down now but we're making good money and if we have the money we might as well spend it to become more powerful instead of just having it be in the bank. That doesn't help us at all. Okay, we've got another, another province here. And what we'll do is we'll just fight him down. And there's the war fleet. And yeah, they can't really cross. The problem is we kind of need to join our armies. Is that something that we can do? Yeah, we can actually. 
it. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll think I'll I think I'll try to reinforce these guys because um, otherwise they might get ideas. Bohemian declare one Saxony. Sure, don't care about these. Um, yeah, my colonial subjects should be able to have all these rebellions in hand in South America. That should be totally fine. They're rich enough. Um, they're not coming after me right now, so I'll be okay with that. Moving on up. We have way too many military leaders. And yeah, um, we had this, the confusion about the emperor, and it says, all form your own empire. So I guess because we are an empire, that is why we have this. Eh, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. We see our splendor go up. Our absolutism is not the greatest, but we don't really want that in any case, so... It's okay. Okay. Uh, bring you up. Bring you up. Just try to take these guys reasonably quickly because I actually want to move on to Tondo. Why is that going so slow? We only have a one siege leader. Oh, no, 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 no. They're actually coming down. Where are they going? Where are they going? Um... Feels like we've got to kick him out again. Stay here. I mean, we have really good leaders, so things shouldn't be too bad. Sienna wants to go through my lands. Nope. Not gonna happen. Yeah, we'll just we'll just try to smush him. Uh, just definitely once we can send everyone in. Okay, let's do that. Actually, let's engage both of these guys separately. Oh, really? I'm not able to catch him? Come on. Okay, we're gonna go force march here. Otherwise, we'll lose that engagement. I'd rather not. Um, force march in here. Come on, guys! Ah, okay, that was close. That was really close. Should not have been that close, actually. Um, can make sure to turn off the force march again. Oh yeah, as they decide to annoy me here. Oh, and we have the we have the break. Let's see. Maybe I can put someone who's better at sieging on here. Play of an Amsterdam. Put this guy in charge. We'll actually switch these. So we'll... Yeah, that's fine. Move them out. I want to keep them close to each other though, so they can reinforce each other if they absolutely have to. Send you up here, send you over there. <laughs> this is going well. Just gotta hope that Tondo won't be taken by someone else before I'm ready. Uh, we should probably also build a couple more heavies at this point. So, yeah, we already have a bit of a heavy fleet. So let's just go ahead and spend a little bit more. Uh, we have a disloyal subject. New Zealand and New Flanders. Could you not? Could you not? Um, I guess we have gotta do some more development here. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, we we definitely we desperately need those those ideas. Okay, twenty two, thirty two. We should have a couple of places where it's kind of cheap to do it. I mean, New Zealand is huge now, so it makes sense that we have to invest considerable resources to keep them happy. That's a gold province. I think we'll... Nah, I guess I want to hold on to my triple power here. Okay, we'll do this. <clears throat> we'll invest, invest in there. And then we have new Flanders over here. You also not happy? Where do we invest there? I think this might be the cheapest place. Nah, that's not true. Oh no, that's in the other country. Damn it, it sucks. Problem is that we don't really have any good provinces to develop here for them. 
New Friesland. Yeah, New Friesland is huge now. New Flanders kind of isn't. Hmm. Okay, and we, we take that 27. I think we'll use some military power. Can't hurt. Okay, that does it. The thing is, I have to get rid of the disloyal subject thing pretty quickly, because otherwise some of my rivals might go and support the independence, and then they will no longer back down. They're not going to be happy that quickly. So that's the main reason why I'm doing this. Could just say, okay, be, be disloyal then, but that's a recipe for disaster, pretty much. Okay, we are down to 16,000 manpower. I'm not happy about this at all. But, I mean, we could do something with the estates here. And all of these guys are mad again that they don't have enough land. Well, screw you, guys. Screw you. Especially the burgers are pretty unhappy. Hmm. Maybe I should do something about that. Okay, let's do it. I'm really happy that this will be gone in the next patch. These guys expect 10%. So, I mean, just give him that one. It's all right. And then the burgers. We'll give him Batavia, actually. That does it. Okay. Now they should be happy again. Uh, let's go ahead and call the diet. Because why not? We'll make a... Do we want to make a donation? Now nah, we'll seek the support of the clergy. Bringing us into negative prestige territory. That's not good, but... Nothing I can really do about it. And we'll go for the Monopoly Charters over here. Sounds good. Demand admin power. Whoa. I could actually pull a huge amount of ducats here. Seems like a good trade. Seems like a really good trade. We'll, we'll do that. Mm. I don't influential enough to give me enough admin power. So I guess I'm just going to ignore it. I mean, 50 power is nice, but I'd rather have them on my good side. If that is the trade-off that I have to make. Uh, we're not improving with the Commonwealth. I mean, these guys are just huge. Still would like to swing an alliance with Sweden if I possibly can. But they're still allied to Cologne. So nothing's going to happen there. Saxony at all. People were saying I should attack and take out Trier. But... Hmm. I mean, they're only allied with Milan. They're only allied with Milan. The Hmm. 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 Now that we... Now that I think about it, that might be a thing that we could do. Like, how big is Milan? It's a one province minor. So... And I guess these guys are fighting with Siena. Oh, Milan is friendly. Hmm. What else could be a problem? Like, we could have... And could have France be a pain in the butt by being the protector of the Catholic faith? That could be a bit of a problem. Okay, that other war is at an end. Move these guys around. We have a free diplomat, so let's check this. Uh, let's say I attack Tria. Declare war. Oh no, we're breaking a truce. So basically, the Commonwealth kind of screwed us over. That sucks big time. Big time. Damn it, how long is the truce going to go? 38. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Nope, not going to happen. God damn it. That is quite annoying. Ah, live and learn. Are we using our ships here to protect our trade? Yeah, we are. Okay, so that's good. How are things down here? Have they managed to get past us again? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Move these around. I mean, we're losing tons of troops by just standing in these um, African provinces, but that's how it goes. I want to fight them down. Don't really intend to cut them down too far um, to size. All I want is that one and that one. It's all I need, really. I want those trade centers. And I'm fine. I mean, ideally, we'll also get these to connect our lands, but that would be 
the height of my ambition. Because otherwise these lands are not really very valuable to me. Okay, come on, fall! You son of a gun. And they have troops in the south. It looks like they've run out of manpower at this point. Shouldn't really gloat because the same thing is going to happen to me. So war against Tondo is actually going to be kind of a difficult proposition. Okay, we converted some people. What now? Akoma and Piro. Really? Why do I have these? Akoma and Piro. Piro, Akoma, Pueblo. Oh, these all belong to me. I gotta give those away. I mean, I could try to make a Mexican colonial subject, but I think it might be better to give it to New Limburg. Colonial Mexico. So that's all New Mexico over there. I have no free colonists. Hm. All right, then. Moving on. And I would like to finish this war rather sooner than later. We sent those 40k down. Uh, maybe these guys as well. And Ethiopia is coming back. Cancel transfer trade power. Hungary became less a partner in a personal union on the Commonwealth. Okay. It's not as powerful as it sounds. I think Hungary is pretty much gone at this point. Yep, that's how it looks. Bohemia is fighting someone. Who are you fighting? Switzerland. Bohemian Swiss imperialist war. <laughs> that's hilarious. Ah, could I be called into this? Is there a way for me to maybe attack Milan? I have imperialism. But Trier would not come in, so why do this, eh? Makes no sense. It really doesn't make a lot of sense, so I'll just leave it. I don't really have European ambitions per se, like for land. I kind of want to see France humiliated more than I want to do other stuff. Cologne is attacking Hessen, sure. Uh, five, three, four. These guys have a three, three, three. Do we have a better one? We have a six, two. We have a five, three. No, oh, that that is him. Okay, we'll we'll leave that guy in charge. He's pretty good. I'm not gonna bother here. Okay, we'll try to catch these pools. Oh, damn it. Damn it! We lost. Profiteering in Arnhem. Uh, yeah, screw France. Damn it, that sucks! We're losing that battle. And we're losing that one too, I think. What? Stack wipe? You gotta be kidding me! Really? All right, then. This war just got personal. I'm going to destroy their fleet. I'm going to siege down their stuff. And then I'm going to kill their soldiers. I mean, not that I haven't done that before, but this really irks me. Getting stab wiped by a nation that is not even a great power. They really got to get it now. New Zealand's liberty desire is still high. These guys are a pain in the butt, I got to tell you. Okay, we'll do more development then. Go away. Hmm, I guess we gotta improve relations with them. Um, I really need manpower, yeah. I really need manpower. I could just get 37,000 manpower by slackening my recruiting standards a little bit. We have more than enough generals. So I think we'll do this. Go maybe down to a couple percent. So now we have 87k, which is good. It's actually kind of absurd. 
Um, let's go and build a new army, because that's kind of what we have to do here. We have a standard army, and we'll build it in Kill War, sure. Oh, and we're at the max for admin power, really? Damn it. Okay, well, I guess I am going to take that new tech. Okay, we have another idea group, and I think we'll actually jump down the diplomatic ideas to get that diplo rep going. So, more diplomats, more diplomatic relations. Cost of reducing war exhaustion, kind of not what we need. Improved relations is nice, diplomatic reputation is what it's all about. Lowered impact on stability from diplomatic actions is also pretty good. Especially for breaking royal marriages and all that kind of stuff, but yeah. Um, so guys, we'll, we'll wait over here. Gotta come into this sea zone. And we'll destroy the Ethiopian fleet. Because they've dared to... ...go up against us. These guys need a leader. Use Gottfried von Trojan. Hmm, the problem is I can't really engage. Because otherwise I will get jumped. That does suck a bit. And we can go for the next mill tech. I think I will. Mm, so that will give us a bit of a dip. We'll go for the Frederican infantry, I think. Elite infantry of Frederick the Great. Makes sense. Anything else that I can change? Ulan cavalry is better than Hussars. Sure, I'll take it. So we're a bit low in morale on some of these troops. Ah, uh, they're controlling Mogadishu now. Doesn't make me too happy. So, wait here. They shouldn't be able to get past this fortress. They're just moving down south to um, annoy me. We lost the Siege of Ida. We'll go, we'll move back into Mogadishu. And I think we'll move these guys into the fortress over there. Coke Blast Furnaces. David Bentink, an inventor and entrepreneur from Narman, has come up with a new type of coke-fired blast furnace for the production of cast iron. By making use of coal instead of charcoal, the production of iron has been increased greatly, allowing us to supply the market with larger quantities of cheap iron. Coal and iron provinces are now more likely to trigger industrialization events. Gain two base sticks in Narman gets introduction of coke blast furnaces. Reducing construction, development cost, and increasing production efficiency. Great. I take it. Might not do something with it right away. How's this coming along? 42%. Yeah, we're still going through the manpower really quickly. Uh, captured six ships. Um, forced them out of the harbor. I think we'll actually use this to... Okay. I'll try to use this to destroy their army as... Uh, oh no, I don't want to go all the way around. I guess I have to take this fortress in any case if I want to make some demands in the area. Might as well do it now. Okay, and they are about to siege down my fort. That's going to take them a long while because it's a level 8 fort. That's quite a while away. I could slacken recruiting standards even further if I needed to. If I get both of my armies together into a battle, there should be no problem whatsoever. We have the discipline guy. Mm, how is my army discipline? 117.2. We are using our yeah manpower recovery speed, discipline, combat ability. Do we have anything else that we can use for this? Mm, I mean, land leader fire. Not going to help us in battle at this moment. So I guess we'll leave it off. Can I change my... No. 38 is when I can change my focus. But we're already on a diplomatic focus. Sure. Kind of feels like we should get someone that we really need. Mm, how much money are we making? Our money has gone way down. Way down. I guess because we're paying more for the army. Trade is also not a huge amount. How much are we making in tariffs? 129. 10% on that is not bad, but trade efficiency kind of beats it every time. 
We'll go with him, I think. Now we have this lot of subjects, New Flanders, but I think we can live with this. I will just go ahead and promote this advisor to the max. Yes, this is incredibly expensive. Really expensive, but I think we can live with this. So New Flanders is mad. Let's go ahead and deal with that. Give them a little bit more development over here. Where is it? Over there. Hello. Have that. See, I'm nice to my colonies. Soon we won't have to deal with that kind of um, uppityness anymore. Okay, we're getting reinforced over here. This thing is still being sieged down. I'm kind of considering spending those points. Ah, we can't. We need 42. Damn shame. Sieging this down, though, it's only a fort level 2. This is a fort level 8, so... Ah, we got the breach. Okay, didn't have to spend those points. We lost Noop. What the hell? <laughs> so they must have marched all across Africa to hit me over here. That is pretty annoying, to be quite honest. Yeah, this war could go better, for sure. We're making 10 ducats now. But we're also making an insane amount of Diplo power now. Uh, 15 per month. That's That's great. Um, okay, so bring these guys back into enemy territory. We'll take that one and then we'll strike combined on Ethiopia. Oh, they're, they're running out. Let's see if we can't catch them now. Okay, come on. Smush these guys. Very good, very good. So Bohemia has declared war upon Bavaria. You really are going crazy, my friend. You really are going crazy there. Hmm. Are these guys still my rival? They're not. Nope, they're not rivaling me. But they've kind of been pissing me off a lot over all these years, so... I kind of feel like going after them might be a good thing. Mm, we're gonna go trade. And I think we'll go war as well at this point can convert another province. That's fine. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that I would be able to wrap up this war in this episode, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Move these guys out. Um, can leave these guys here. Actually, move them into that province. It's fine. We'll just take back what we, what we got there. Um, Ethiopia should really not be able to fight back anymore. Like, I mean, okay, they still have a lot of troops. I mean, I wouldn't need to see all those troops. Where are they hiding their 161k infantry units? They must be way over here, maybe, or something. That's odd. Let's have a look at Ethiopia in the ledger. Where are you? Ethiopia. So, yeah, they're down to 600 manpower. So, every fight that we take with them severely reduces their ability to continue fighting. So I think this is good. I'm pretty happy with where we are. Damn shame that that one army got wiped, but we're almost done rebuilding that one. And they really can't compete with the power and the wealth that we can bring. So that's pretty good. Makes me very happy. For now, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you join me in the next episode. Thanks. Bye-bye.